Well, it's my first bath session of 2021. The water is a little bit coloured. It's not too bad. Just a little bit of colour in it. You want it a bit more clearer. But we've got what we've got. Finished work and I thought, right, let's get down there and just give it a go. I'm going to show you my setup quickly. My bag, basically, what I'm using. Because I've never done this before on the channel. Show you what, how I'm kitted out. I've done it as cheap as I can. And it's effective. First of all, I've spoke about this on the channel a few times. And now you'll get to see it in action. We've got the Rovex Lua Pro. Go a bit closer. I hope you can see that name. It's the Rovex Lua Pro, 20 to 40 gram, and it's eight foot long. If you're only shore fishing, you could go for the nine foot version, but I use this on the boat a lot, and it also works on the shore, so it's best of both. The braid I'm using is Berkeley Whiplash. It's around 42 pound breaking strain, something like that. I was using, uh, I think it was 20, 25 pound braid, and a lighter leader. But on places like this, it's really shallow, it's really rocky. I was hooking up to bass, there was running and fighting. The braid was chafing on rocks and I kept losing fish and losing lures. These lures are not cheap, so I thought, right, I'm going to step it all up. Stronger braid, stronger leader, and we'll see how we get on. I've never had an issue with it. It casts spot on. I've not lost any fish since. Touch wood, it don't happen today if we get anything. But that's it. It's a stronger, stepped up setup. I've not had any problems. The lure I've got on this at the moment, that is the Daiwa R50. It's a SSR FG live Wagazaki colour. This is probably one of my best shore lures. It only dives to around 0.3 of a metre. I've got it attached to a breakaway spin link. These are rated to £35. It's the bigger version to the mini link. I've never had an issue with these. A lot of people don't like them, but I've never had an issue, like I just said. The easy look, unclip easy, and clip back on easy. That's done. The leader I'm using, I'd say that is, I'd say that's a three foot leader. I'd say anywhere between two and a half to three and a half foot for a leader. A lot of people think, who'm new to bass fishing, which is totally fine, this leader has to go all the way down the rod onto the reel. It does not. This is just for abrasion. So you only need the top two and a half to three and a half foot for the abrasion. It's not, any, it's not on there for casting because the braid's a lot stronger than this line. It's just abrasion. Braid is really bad rubbing against rocks. It'll ping off. Well, hardly, hardly any pressure at all. It's on a rock and you're pulling, it will snap. The mono doesn't. This will take a bit of, bit of, of abuse. What you want to do as well, when you've been fishing on a rough, rough, when you've been fishing on a rough mark, occasionally run your fingers down this line, feel it. It should feel nice and smooth like this does. If you start feeling it feeling a bit rough, a bit crappy, swap it. Last thing you want is this line snapping when you've got a bass on. So that's it. You can see behind me, we've got the sea. I'm absolutely gagging to chuck this out and see if we can get anything. Obviously, it's mid-March. I've never really done it this early, but we don't get clear water this early. So we're going to give it a go. My bag that I bring, it's actually a cycling rucksack. But this fits everything inside that I need. And if you want to, it carries a camelback inside here with a straw for a drink. Summer months I do do that, this time of year I don't. But I've got my lure box in here, got a head torch when it gets dark later. First aid kit, some scissors, some spare lines, some spare lead links, scales, fish tape measure basically. That's it. It's comfortable to wear, it's light and we can go on the move. Let's chuck a lure anyway. Well, what I've decided to do is have a sit down for five minutes and I'm going to switch this lure. Um, it's a bit mad, but I'm going to have a go for surface lure. Um, I don't really get many surface hits that early in the year. It seems more divers, but if you don't try, you don't know, do you? I wouldn't say it's impossible, but we'll have a look in the lure box now and see what we've got. On this side of my lure box, hopefully you can see that. That is all divers, but 
Um, because the water's quite coloured, I am tempted to put something like that on. A bit of a brighter lure. But what I'm going to try and do first, I'm going to chuck a surface lure on. And the surface lure creates commotion. It's got rattles in it and stuff. And the sound and the noise, I believe, attracts the bass. That's what they're homing on. The water's slightly coloured. It's not severely bad, but it, I don't know, say knee deep, you can't see the bottom. So it is probably a bit too coloured. But we're out. We're out. We're, we're basically we're out fishing. We've been in lockdown for ages. And I was just dying to get out. Sitting here, not catching, is a lot better than sitting at home watching TV. Anyway, what I'll do, show you the lure I'm going to use. Um, I'll put this one on. The reason why, it's big, it's loud, and if I lose it, I won't be that devastated. That lure is the Yozuri Mag Popper, one ounce. This is the mackerel with the orange belly. This is, I've not had much success on the boat. I don't know why, but on the shore, this has caught me a lot of bass. So, as you can see, it's got a concave face there. So, it comes through the water, the water hits that, and it sort of sprays the water out. There's a few different ways of working it. You can tap the rod with the rod up in the air, and the lure will sort of zigzag. It's called walk the dog. The lure does this sort of action in the water, and it sprays water out. You can also have the rod tipped down, doing a similar action. This lure, I find, giving it quite a few pauses on the way in, so you're in there working it like that, and stop. But make sure you, your line's got tension to it, and then you carry on, wind down, stops the tension. Normally, on that pause, it can induce a take. But anyway, we'll get this lure on now, and we'll get it cast out. To clip it on, same as the other lure, you've got a little hook on the lure clip, basically through there and that's it that's clipped on i don't know if you can see the ball bearings in there there's three ball bearings it's on a magnet system when it drops back and you like you swing it behind you and go to cast the balls drop down to the end of the tail it helps it fly like a dart it hits the water and the balls come back to the front and now they're like a magnet look to stay there so it puts a bit of weight on the front end if you can find one of these honestly buy one they are a wicked lure i absolutely love it i've had it a very long time and it's caught a lot of bass so yeah that's the yozuri mackerel with the orange belly one ounce model it's the bigger version perfect from the shore absolutely perfect casts a mile and it pulls the fish in normally probably not today <laughs> because of the time of year surface lures in march i don't know i have caught bass on the surface this time of year before but you've got to fish hard for them so but there you go, we'll get this cast out now. We've been casting for a while, and we've had one. It's actually really, really pale. There's a lot of people out there that say you can't catch bass on lures this time of year. That, it's a surface lure. So if you get to the right spots, you will catch them. I'll give you a closer look. He's very, very alive. Fish is so cold. There you go, look. First bass of 2021. And there, little Yozuri mag popper hanging out his mouth. Absolutely love it. Get a few pictures of it and we'll get it chucked back. There you go. We're going to get him returned now. When you put bass down on the ground like this, put them on top of weed. Don't put them on the stones. Keep them on the nice soft weed. You don't want to be damaging the fish. So, carefully, thumb in its mouth. As soon as you grip, they usually kick. He's bang on 42 centimetres, but we'll get him returned. 
Alright, here we go. There he goes. Well, we're losing the light now. It's starting to drop dark. We've had no more bass, but one bass. For a marked session, I'm more than happy with that. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you can, give it a like, and I'll see you in the next one.